I just don't want them in this neighborhood. Jordan Barbo is leading a neighborhood watch. I mean, there are a lot of diseases that they can carry. Against five masked intruders. There they are at the bottom of your screen. Completely fearless. Didn't care. She's most concerned with the raccoon ringleader. She'll just launch from that far and come right after you before you have any idea that she's there. It's happening outside her home on Northwest 22nd and Johnson. Brace yourself for this latest attack from the night of August 1st. A woman and her dog were out walking when suddenly a raccoon attacks both of them. The attack goes on for 18 seconds. Not only was her dog bitten, but she was also bitten on the leg at least in two spots. So she had gone to get treated at the ER, and when she went to the ER, they actually told her that she was not the first person that had come in for a raccoon bite just that week. Last month, Jordan says a raccoon attacked her husband and their two dogs. It's a little blurry, but you can see it here. No warning, no hiss, no growl. It just came right out. The raccoon really went for Rosa, their husky mix, and sliced open her ear. It also left puncture wounds on their other dog, Bodie's front leg. It was just digging in on her body, holding on to her. And, you know, if it weren't for her brother Bodie and, and my husband being there to help, I, I don't know that she would have been able to get it off of her. Jordan posted this sign, hoping to warn neighbors. As people stop to look, you can almost read their minds. Really? There goes the neighborhood. The other day I took a photo and I posted on my Instagram story because at first I was like, oh my God, that's ridiculous. What are yeah. raccoons? Like, what's going on? But I just read your updated sign around the corner and I was like, oh no. It seems like we've got an aggressive bunch. Do we not have animal control? For aggressive dogs, yes just not raccoons. As for the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife, a spokesperson tells KGW they offer to loan neighbors raccoon traps and euthanize any they catch. Jordan set out five catch and release traps on her own that won't injure the animals. So far, no luck. She hopes they leave on their own. So I've got neighbors that have little kids that, you know, would be at serious risk if they were out playing in the yard. In the meantime, her neighborhood watch continues. This is not an area where an animal this aggressive is going to be able to coexist. Aggressive raccoons, that's all we need. Until the situation is resolved, ODFW suggests people avoid walking their dogs in that area at night. Also, they're asking people to avoid putting things outside that might attract raccoons, like accessible food waste and pet food. David? At least the neighbors there are looking out for each other. Yeah. Thank you, Catherine. To get you